Hey everybody, this is Chris at Zenark Reptiles. Thank you for joining me once again. Hope everybody's doing well and feeling well and I hope everybody's getting back to work. Um, I know some places are opening up. We haven't opened up yet, but um, hoping soon, knock on wood. Anyways guys, if you guys are new here, consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. It keeps you in the loop of all my upcoming videos. Um, all I ask is if you guys get anything from these videos, um, like or subscribe helps me out, uh, gets my YouTube message out there, and I do appreciate it. Today I'm gonna talk about another easy morph combo. I get questions all the time. What kind of codon project should I do? Or do I do any codon projects anymore? And the truth is I do. Um, if I only did recess up projects, I would actually go crazy because some of my double recess up projects and my single recess up projects are taking a, you know, a long time. Um, so if I only had goals that are four, five, six years down the road, it'd be really frustrating. I always keep some short-term projects on uh, hand and I'm always working on some. And also I do love some codoms. There is some codom projects that I think look amazing that are actually, I think, look just as good as um, some of your recess of projects. When you first starting out, it can be very overwhelming reading ball pythons. And I knew it was when I first started out because you see all these people with these crazy snakes and they got so much in there, but they spent so much time to get there. And I like to give you guys base places to go and where to, you know, where to start. And that's what this is. Me personally, I'm using these to make my the baseline of my brain stock better. But this is a great place for you to start. It's actually starting out better than I did. So today I'm gonna talk about the pastel banana GHI. This is something I'm actually working on right now. I just recently ordered a male snake that is a GHI super pastel banana. I also have some super pastel girls. Now this is a video I did uh, when I first started out about normal ball pythons. It's actually the only video I thought about taking down. I've been doing videos for getting close to a year. In August, I think it's a year. Um, but you can see what my perspective was about a year ago. And on that video, I was talking about using normal ball pythons to start up if you have no money. I probably wouldn't shoot that video the way I did, but now I would actually say that if you're going to start out, I would use um, Super Pastel, Super Fire, Super Orange Dream, um, anything that's actually an enhancer gene that can help you further along your projects because it's an easy and cheap starting point. You know, I want to breed, like, say, a pied and I want to make hets. So I take that visual pied and bring it to like a super pastel or a super fire. Um, I'm gonna have at least fire heads. It's just a better starting point. And it's actually not that m much more. Now I understand if you don't have a lot of money and normal is all you can afford to start for your females, that's totally fine. But I still would go with supers if um, I was starting all over again. Everybody has a different price point when they first start out. Me personally, I live in Washington and I make okay living. Um, here, I'm actually way above the median average. But then again, I have four teenagers. If you guys have kids, you know that kids cost a lot of money. Um, I have a new truck and house payment. So when I first started out, I didn't have the money to go out and drop three, four thousand dollars on a snake. I bought hets and worked myself up. Um, now I have visuals. Right now I'm working on some double recessive um, projects. But see, the thing is I had to work myself up to that and I had to save up money. Now it's not hard for me to drop, you know, four, five thousand dollars on a snake because I took in that money that I've, you know, sold different snakes and things like that. I took that money and cycled it back into the business. But I do understand when you're first starting out, it's hard to get the racks, the thermostats, all the things you need, and they come up with it up front. So we've all been there and we've all done it. Now there is people that can have the money they can go drop $30,000 on a snake. I just, I see YouTube videos all the time say, I just dropped $20,000 on a snake or I dropped my most expensive snake ever. And that's great for them. Um, but um, a lot of us have to be realistic and we don't have that right now. Um, but I can honestly say that I can drop more now than I could uh, about five or six years ago. What I'm trying to say here is that you, you can definitely start out slow and build yourself up to get better snakes. But anyways, I'm gonna go grab uh, one of my uh, Super Pastel girls. This right here is a Super Pastel Yellow Belly. You can pick these up pretty cheap on online. And what I was saying earlier is that if I could start all over, um, I would either start out with Super Pastels, Super Fire, Super Inchy, um, Super Orange Dream, 
um, because they're a great starting point. So even if I bred, say, a pied or, say, a clown, and I want to just make heads, at least they're going to have pastel or, say, if I had a super fire, they're at least going to be fire. If I had a super inchy, at least it's going to be inchy. You at least have one gene along with your heads, but that's just a better starting point, period. Because if I bred normals with a visual, I'm going to have heads, but those extra genes to work with um, make it a lot better. And they're not that expensive. Um, this right here, a super pastel is about 150 bucks online. Um, you can also get the super pastel yellow belly um, for 175. They're very common on morph market. And whatever you breed to it, even if you want to breed a visual and you know get hits, you're at least going to have some uh, color to your to your snake. I just purchased a GHI banana super pastel that I plan to breed to these super pastel girls. My goal is to eventually weed out my super pastels and have these ones take over. So I'm constantly trying to upgrade my baseline of my breeders. Every year, every time, every breeding, I try to keep the best back and keep them as my baseline and slowly weed out the other ones. Over time, I'll have a better breeding stock and that's my goal and that's what I'm doing with this project. I think the GHI Super Pastel uh, Banana is a nice looking snake and I can produce more of them. I'm also trying to add in some, you know, uh, eventually get some Super Banana, Super GHI, Super Leopard, Super Mojaves. Those are all good for your collection, um, especially for your baseline. Um, again, your baseline is your breeding stock. So whatever you want to breed to. So like if I say I wanted to take, again, the clown and add it to something, um, to make some heads, I'll have a nice baseline to start from there. I'm trying to make my base breeding stock a lot better. And if you watch my last video, I'm talking about how I'm trying to get better and better and better uh, and more colors and more morphs into my breeding stock. If I bred them together, I have a 13% chance of a super pastel GHI banana yellow belly. An okay odd, but what I'm trying to hit is that super pastel GHI banana, which you know I'm, the male is, so I can make more of them. And I, either way, I have about 20, 26% uh, chance. And you know what? If that's a pretty good odds, I know that don't sound that great, but if you breed a lot of um, recessives, you'll think that 25% is actually pretty good. So, you know, I'm going to have some different variations in there and it's a good chance I'm going to have a lot of these genes in there. And the worst case scenario is I'm going to get a super pastel, which, you know, I will probably keep. And super pastels sell for about 150 bucks online and that's not that bad. So, again, your worst case scenario is you're going to get just that super pastel and still make okay money. So, if I took that same male and bred him back to a normal ball python. Um, I will have no chance of getting any super pastels, but I could get a pastel GHI banana. So if you are going to breed normals, um, the thing is, is like make sure your male is a super. Like right here, what I bought is a super pastel GHI banana. And what that saves you from is getting normals. And normals don't sell that well. Um, I know here on Craigslist, I see people sell normals for a hundred bucks, which is crazy to me because if you look on Morph Market, most hatchlings are about 25 bucks to 50 bucks. It depends on where you get them. Also, I guess if you go to Petco and PetSmart, they do sell them for like 150 bucks, which is crazy. But there's no money in normals. The Super Pastels, Super Fires, Super Orange Dreams, that nice enhancing gene is a great place to start and it'll move your projects along faster and it'll make a nice baseline for your breeding snakes. 750 to get started is pretty reasonable. Um, that's about what I started when I first started breeding. I spent anywhere from about three to $500 per snake. Anyways guys, I hope that helps. I hope that kind of gives you some ideas. Uh, check out these other videos I have right here. Also hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out, keeps me going. I love you guys, stay safe. Stay positive and I'll see you next time.